April 8th, 1991. I'm not dead yet. I'll admit, I regret not curing my radiation sickness before I left. It made leaving the country difficult. I cashed in a few favors, took one too many off the book flights in rusted out buckets, but I made it back to Valverde. The area was on lockdown, sealed by American intelligence for study. The complex centered on a crater from the alien self-destruction. I found the scientists slumming in the local bar. A few drinks, a couple of threats later, he was ready to talk. It wasn't much, barely anything I didn't already know. The blast emitted a form of radiation they'd never seen before. Some believed it was extraterrestrial, some didn't. Either they're not too bright or there's nothing to find. I decided to let them keep searching in vain. It kept them busy and off my trail. I've been touring villages and small towns using the cover of an author writing about South American folklore. I don't know if any of them bought in, but they took my money and told the stories. The closer they were to the jungle, the more stories of devils in the trees. Some were bullshit, made up on the spot, but some carried consistencies that I couldn't ignore. Whatever it was, the demons who make trophies of man, the devil of the trees, or the skull taker, the stories always began on the hottest summer that they could remember. In the summer of 1987, Valverde really broke its all-time high in temperatures. They loved the heat. It must remind them of home. Everything else confirmed the truth of the stories. Proud warriors skinned and hanged, skulls and spines ripped from their bodies. Maybe it was obvious from the beginning, but it wasn't until I heard the stories that I truly accepted the purpose of these mutilations. I mean, they're taking trophies. They travel impassable distances to hunt us, skin us, and mount us over some alien fireplace on another world. It would be disgusting if it weren't so familiar. Where do I go now? It's been on my mind all year. The takeaway from all this intel is that they've been doing this for decades, centuries maybe. They're coming back and I need to be there when they do.